following is a large bean shaped specimen. The relative superior aspect has been extracted and the cut section shows large areas of ischemic necrosis, cystic changes and foci of hemorrhages. Most likely the specimen is of renal cell carcinoma which is the malignant transformation of the tubular cells lining the kidney. It is characterized by large solitary that is singly present golden yellowish and circumscribed tumor which is most commonly affecting the upper pole of the kidney. It is usually unilateral. The tumor so developed would eventually grow and compress the calyces and renal pelvises in the lower lobes as well. Microscopically, the tumor cells may be clear cells or granular cells. Clear cells are more abundant, comprising about 70% of the tumor cells. They are large cells with clear and well-defined cytoplasm. However, the nuclei is pycnotic, meaning that the nuclear matter has condensed down. The granular cells on the other hand, they are less abundant, comprising 30%. And yet they have eosinophilic, that is pink granules in the cytoplasm. The tumor cells are arranged in a very delicate fibrous stroma. Because of this reason, it can adapt to multiple arrangements. Commonly, they are arranged either in solid configuration, acinar or tubular. Here in the picture, we can clearly see the acinar arrangement of the clear cells.